Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Are you looking to start a blog using Square's website builder? Square offers a range of tools and features that makes it easy for you to create a professional looking blog. In this video, we will show you how to set up a blog on your Square website and cover everything from choosing blog layout, template, and much more. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go ahead and launch your Square website. How to do so? Just go to your, uh, for example, here to the URL section and search for uh, Square. As simple as that. So let's go to Square. Here it is. And from here, all you have to do is click on this one. Let me just find it. All right, here it is, Square up. And here it is. And guys, please do not make a confusion between Squarespace and Square Up. We are in this video playing and like using with Square Up settings. So let's go ahead and click here for to start. Start for free. And as you see here, you just have to fill these informations. Of course, they will have to be correct 100%, so you can be in the second step. For example, here you just have to choose your country. Uh, which is in my case Morocco here uh, you just have to put your uh, email confirm it and th that's it so for example here let's go and put the email address uh, here it is uh, this is just an example on how you can create an account guys so here confirm the email and here create a password as simple as that and when you finish you will receive an email in your uh, email address and just confirm your email and your account shall be verified and opened. For now, I will just have to go to sign in to sign and log into my account. And here we go. I have logged into my account. Everything is working fine and fantastically good now. As you will have to see here, to create an account or a website, you just have to click on a website. Here you will find like a website, its website, domain, and etc. In case you'd like to create a new website and not go to the settings of the website, you just have to click on your name over here and you will find all the sites that you have. So just click on add site from here and they will just start to create a new site for you right after you give them a name about your website. For example, here, tutorial, as you can see, click on continue and then skip for now and then perfect your new site is coming right up so this process can take between 10 seconds to up to two minutes so it depends on the performance of the dashboard itself so you don't have to do anything for it to be working fi fine but overall here it is it has been created and it is working now so the next thing to do is simply click on here to edit the site so go ahead and click on it and they will take you to the template where you can edit the site itself. So just wait a little bit, and here it is in front of you. Let's what's next? Here it is, cap, and here it is the website in front of you. So now let's select the style for our website. Go to select style here, and choose the template that you would like to have. So I will go with this one. Click in customize to customize it so customize it and apply new style now here you will find everything you will need to actually start making your website but first I will have to do something real quick which is click on done and X and here I will turn it to desktop mode okay this is looking pretty good now, in case you'd like to add any kind of blocks inside of this website, it is completely simple. Just go and click on Add Section, and then choose what kind of section you'd like to add. So, in my case, I want to add text and image, which is very useful for blogs because you need image and text at the same time to make your blog look interesting and attractive at the same time. So, click here and choose the style that you'd like to have. There is multiple styles from one image, text in the right, uh, text in the left, image in the right, uh, yeah, text in the right, 
text in the left uh, image in the right uh, two images to text below them and so many kind of things that you can actually use so for example let's try with this one here we go and let's add an image just click here and you will get all the settings that you can go for so here as you can see you'll find uh, customization so you can change it later on so if you did choose the wrong layout you can change it here where you'd like to have the text in the middle right left so this will edit the whole text and finally here you can delete the section in our case if you'd like to change the background you can go here and just choose the background that you'd like a custom color an image if you'd like even you can simply drag an image over here from your PC and it will be added as simple as that so let's choose an image um, here it is this cat's image and then click on done and it will be added over here if you would like to add an image in here in this corner just click on it double click and they will open for you the content image section click here to add an image and do the same thing so as you can see here uh, I think we must remove it, this one so let me just click here and I will remove this one so here we go um, let's remove this for now and let's remove this as well so uh, I don't know why it's not okay here it is background uh, custom uh, custom color and here let's choose the image once more and this is like simply how it should look like now simply what you have to do is go here and change the text put your blog put your article put whatever you have in mind and add it over here of course you can add later on multiple uh, multiple sections so for example this is section one which is sub chapter one you can add another section which is chapter two and add other images you can only add like a section full of images and a section full of text nothing but that and when you feel like you are done with everything make sure to go ahead and click on preview and then publish preview so you can look at your article as a, like a visitor and publish to make it publish for everyone so you don't lose the process that you have made in your website so let's do that real quick here is the preview as you can see this is how it looks like and here it is the publish before you do the publish make sure to review both desktop and mobile forms this is very very um, important because sometimes mobile might be glitching so make sure that it is the correct form when you finish with that click on publish here we go and here let's use this one and then click on publish once more you just have to choose like a uh, custom domain or use a domain I own elsewhere or this one so you can use this one and then click on enter and your site will be published as you can see here so yeah guys that was completely it that's how you can put a blog in your square website i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching till this moment and see you guys in the next tutorial